everybody. I hope everybody's doing good today. If you're celebrating something, your birthday, your anniversary, celebrate that thing. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, and make sure you celebrate yourself today. Remember this, what we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. Yeah, what we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. Everybody loves comfort. I love it, man. There's some foods that I love to eat. Pizza is my comfort food. I mean, you could just fill the room with pizza, and before long, I'm going to go through all of that. But if we're not challenged not to do the things that make us the most comfortable, we'll never grow. Nothing grows in comfort. We grow best in discomfort. Do I want to get up in the morning, get to the gym, do my thing, all of that? Many times, not at the moment. You know what I'm saying? I love the feeling afterwards, but I don't like the feeling trying to get there and go and all that. But I know that if I stay in my comfort area, in my comfort zone, I won't get better. I won't get this. I won't get where I need to go. And the same with you. The doctor has told some of you that you cannot eat certain foods. You know you can't eat those foods, but you go and try to pick off of it. What we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. Some can't eat, uh, ingest so much salt, right? What about, you know, sugar? And think what we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. Let's go to relationships. Here it is. You've been uh, asking God. You've been praying for the right relationship. You, you haven't had really good relationships in the past. Now you get, uh, wow, this, this for me? You're like, God, this, I go, this for me? And... You feel a certain kind of way sometimes because you've never been challenged this way. It could be good. All challenges are not bad. But because you've never seen it before, because you've never experienced it before, you don't know how to deal with it. So it challenges you. You want to go back to what you've been used to, even if what you've been used to is worse or bad or whatever. You have to let that good thing. See, look, even though we know sugar tastes good, Right. Some of us also know that sugar is what they say, at least 10 times more addictive than cocaine. Right. So even though it tastes good, it's not necessarily good for us. You're gonna, but there are some things that's good for you, like kale is good for you. But it may challenge you because you'd rather have sugar than kale. In the relationship, this relationship, this partner, this new partner may be great like kale, but you are used to sugar, which tastes good, but it damages you. Guess what you do? You may flow towards the sugar as opposed to going for the kale. So you may destroy a perfectly good relationship because you're not willing to be challenged by what is better for you. You get what I'm saying. What we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. I want you to go to comments and I want you to say good morning and then say, I'm up for the challenge. Go, go, go to the comments. I'm up for the challenge. You're being challenged by something. Oh, we all go through challenges. So you're being challenged by something right now. It could be the best thing for you. Or it could be the worst thing in your life. What we don't let challenge us could be the very thing that destroys us. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then ring the bell so you'll know when we go live with contest content and conversation. We have to be willing to step, run, walk, speed out of our comfort zone. So I want you all to be the best you can be. Let that thing challenge you to your better self. Have a good day.